Video from a skill zone. For more videos, notes, and certificates, please visit www.eskillzone.com. Hello, in the previous video, we have studied the input and output devices. In this video, we will study about an input device called the keyboard more briefly. Keyboard is the primary text input device on all computers which contain standard function keys such as escape tag and cursor movement keys. It is like a traditional typewriter which use same key arrangement as the mechanical and keyboard electronic keyboards. The arrangement of alphabetic keys is QWERTY. Keyboard Another key arrangement, Dvorak, which was designed to use easily. Function of keyboard There is no one standard keyboard. All our manufacturers create their own. Most keyboard have same function. Essential component to keyboard are the letter keys which allow an operator to write on the computer. Keyboard can be found nearly in many languages to match with the computer settings. Like alphabets, numbers, basic navigation function like arrow key and the enter key are also included on keyboard. Purpose of keyboard the main purpose it serves is to input data into a computer so application can function as the user desires. It can also be used for gaming and give command for computer operating system. A standard keyboard has 105 keys. Parts of a keyboard Typing area Typing area, you see, when you do word processing. It is like a traditional typewriter where you press alphabetic character such as letters, special characters, and numbers. Functioning keys All the functioning keys are located at the top of the keyboard and grouped into four keys starting from F1 to F12 used for special purpose and specific task. For example, if you're writing something in Microsoft Word and you stuck somewhere and need help, then press F1 and F5 key will display Find and Replace dialog box. F12 will save dialog box. These keys support different in different application like F2 key will display AutoCAD text window. Similarly, you can check all the key what function exactly they provide. Functions key will be beneficial for you if you know how to use them. Numeric keypad Numeric keypad is located at the right side of the keyboard, which is arranged like a standard calculator used to enter the numeric data. Number lock key tell whether the keys are on numeric or directional mode. If it is on means, if green light is shown on the number lock key, means can enter the numbers. But if it off, then directional keys are activated, which moves the cursor up, down, left, or right. Cursor and monitor controls. These keys are located between typing keypad and the numeric keypad. Having two groups that are arranged top and bottom. Top keys holds insert, home, page up and page down, delete and end keys. Insert key switches between insert and overtype mode. Home key brings the cursor to the beginning of the page. Page up and page down helps you to move on pages without using 
mouse. Delete has erase the document or page or text that you has been select. End key takes you end of the page. There are different types of keyboards. They can be based on the way the keys work. For example, laptops have keys that do not move a lot because the keyboard has to be very thin in order to fit inside the laptop. On the other hand, video game players often like keyboards with keys that move a lot so that they feel the key working. Gaming keyboards also need fast reaction times. In between these two types, an ergonomic keyboard is made to be easier for people to type for long periods of time without hurting their hands or arms. There are also different ways the keys on a keyboard are arranged, usually to deal with different regions and languages of the world. Most computer keyboards have the keys in six rows, but some laptops use only five or even four rows to save space. The most popular layout is called QWERTY, which is based on the first six letters on them. The QWERTY design was made so that the most common letters would not make the moving parts of a mechanical typewriter jam or stop working. Now, even though most people do not use typewriters anymore, the design stayed because people were used to it. Other layouts have been developed, for example, the Dvorak keyboard, which puts the most common letters in the places that are easiest to reach. Risk Keystroke logging is making a record of each key that is pressed. Keystroke logging can be used to measure employee activity. Hackers can also use keystroke logging to get private information such as passwords. This can be done by putting a piece of hardware in the keyboard or on the cable or by installing malware in the computer. A wireless keyboard makes it especially easy for the hacker to detect the wireless signals. The use of any keyboard may cause repetitive strain injury to the hands, wrists, arms, neck, or back. The risks of injuries can be reduced by taking frequent short breaks to get up and walk around a couple of times every hour. Users should also vary tasks throughout the day to avoid overuse of the hands and wrists. When using a keyboard, a person should keep the shoulders relaxed with the elbows at the side with the keyboard and mouse positioned so that they are comfortable to use. The chair height and keyboard should be adjusted so that the wrists are straight and not resting on sharp edges of tables or the computers themselves. Some technology ranging from special keyboards to pen tablet interfaces or speech recognition software can reduce the risk of Injury. Pause software reminds the user to pause frequently. Researchers are studying if keyboards can spread diseases. Some keyboards were found to contain five times more germs than a toilet seat. Keyboards and keypads may be illuminated from inside especially on equipment for mobile use. Both keyboards, built into computers, and external ones, may support backlighting. External backlit keyboards may have a wired USB connection or be connected wirelessly and powered by batteries.
Illumination facilitates the use of the keyboard or keypad in dark environments. Not otherwise illuminated may have small LED indicator lights in a few important function keys or elsewhere on the housing if their function is activated. In the first electronic keyboards in the early 1970s, the key switches were individual switches inserted into holes in metal frames. These keyboards cost from 80 to 120 USD and were used in mainframe data terminals. In the mid 1970s, lower cost direct contact key switches were introduced, but their life in switch cycles was much shorter, rated 10 million cycles, because they were open to the environment. This became more acceptable, however, for use in computer terminals at the time, which began to see increasingly shorter model lifespans as they advanced. In 1978, Keytronic Corporation introduced keyboards with capacitive based switches. One of the first keyboard technologies not to use self contained switches. There was simply a sponge pad with a conductive coated mylar plastic sheet on the switch plunger and two half moon trace patterns on the printed circuit board below. As the key was depressed, the capacitance between the plunger pad and the patterns on the PCB below changed, which was detected by integrated circuits IC. These keyboards were claimed to have the same reliability as the other solid state switch keyboards, such as inductive and hall effect, but competitive with direct contact keyboards. Desktop computer keyboards include alphabetic characters and numerals, typographical symbols, and punctuation marks, one or more currency symbols, and other special characters. Diacritics and a variety of function keys. The repertoire of glyphs engraved on the keys of a keyboard accords with national conventions and language needs. Computer keyboards are similar to electric typewriter keyboards but contain additional keys such as the command key or Windows keys. Keyboards on laptops and notebook computers usually have a shorter travel distance for the keystroke, shorter over travel distance, and a reduced set of keys. They may not have a numeric keypad, and the function keys may be placed in locations that differ from their placement on a standard full sized keyboard. Flexible keyboards are a junction between normal type and laptop type keyboards. Normal from the full arrangement of keys and laptop from the short key distance. Additionally, the flexibility allows the user to fold or roll the keyboard for better storage and transfer. However, for typing, the keyboard must be resting on a hard surface. The vast majority of flexible keyboards in the market are made from silicon. This material makes them water and dust proof. This is useful in hospitals where keyboards are subjected to frequent washing and other dirty or must be clean environments. Video from eSkillzone. For more videos, notes, and certificates, please visit www.eskillzone.com.